Turkey successfully flight tested its first fifth generation fighter jet, named Khan, on February 21, 2024, was accompanied by a Turkish F 16 Fighting Falcon. Under the supervision of Turkish Aerospace Industries, the aircraft was piloted by Commander Barbaros Demirbas of the Turkish Air Force. This first flight, lasting 11 minutes, reached an altitude of 8,000 feet and a speed of 230 knots. Khan is slated to be a fifth-generation fighter jet with a low observability design, the ability to carry weapons inside and outside the fuselage, an active electronically scanned array radar system, supercruise, and advanced data link capabilities. The Khan program aims to modernize the Turkish fighter fleet and enhance national defense capabilities to meet the strategic needs of the Turkish armed forces. Development of the TFX began in 2010 but experienced several interruptions and delays. However, the process accelerated significantly in 2019 after Turkey was excluded from the F-35 program. On July 18, 2019, Turkey's involvement in the F-35 program was terminated due to a disagreement with the United States over purchasing the Russian S-400 missile system. As a result, the Turkish Air Force has been looking for alternative options to upgrade its fighter fleet, including its current F-16 fleet. On January 26, 2024, Turkey was allowed to purchase 40 Lockheed Martin F-16 Viper fighter jets and other equipment for around $23 billion. The TFX program is seen as an important part of Turkey's efforts to develop its own defense industry and reduce its dependence on foreign weapons systems. The successful development and deployment of the TFX would also give Turkey a significant strategic advantage in the region. With its high-performance radar, electronic warfare, electro-optics, communication, navigation and identification capability, it will achieve increased combat power with precision and accurate firing from internal weapon slots at high supersonic speed. Khan boasts all technologies and features found in fifth-generation warplanes. It will provide the opportunity to strategically attack air-to-air -air and air-to-ground targets. It has a completely domestic infrastructure for secure data sharing and the use of smart munitions.